Hi, hi, Marty people. Welcome back. Thank you for joining us again for another Freddie Mercury Unload. Today, guess what? No homework. Nothing to bore you with. Yay. I will warn you, this is a cuteness overload kiln. <laughs> there are lots of little bunnies coming out. They're breeding in there. There's owls. There's all sorts of things because I got asked to do seven bowls for somebody for their grandchildren for Christmas. So they're all in here. So let's get into it. Lots of celadons, lots of repetition in this one. So had a look, of course, at the top shelf. This one, <laughs> I like that. Um, so this one was a bit of a, not a fail, but it annoyed the heck out of me because it was four kilos of clay. And I could still only get it to the same height as two kilos. So it really annoyed me. So I asked heaps of advice and got a few little tips, but anyway, so I have to keep practicing and trying. But I said to you last time, which is actually in, I think it's in here, Refire, I did the new Spectrum Teal Blue uh, on no texture. And I said, oh, look at where it's just got a little ripple and it does break a bit and let's try it on texture. So again, that's just a Spectrum Teal Blue, but this time on texture. Pretty? Yeah. Mm. I'm not, oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm not convinced, but I mean, I like it. I don't know, I like it. But I put a bit of um, light flux on the refire one. So that'll be really interesting to see what happens. But that was actually, Trace and I saw that. We were out, a, out at a club <laughs> seeing a band dancing. And we saw it was really big. It was like 40, 45 centimetres or something. But it was, a, it was a manufactured thing and it was like plastic or something. And it was exactly, well, it wasn't exactly the same. But it was That's my impression of it. And it was pure white. So I was going to leave this white, but then the carving and everything wasn't perfect enough. So I thought it needed colour. So that's why I did that. I um, love that shape. So, yeah, well, that was the shape that I copied. So I might as well do the other big vase. So that's smoke. Again, I think it's the wrong colour. I've chosen the wrong one. I really love, though, with the, the darker ones. I didn't do any underglaze white back on that. That's just the smoke. And look at how well it sits in the texture. Yeah, it's beautiful in the texture. Yeah. But it's, it's gone a brown. Smoke's normally more grey than that. Yeah. That's weird. I don't know. I haven't used it much. See, I was tempted to do marigold, but remember I did mm. that other marigold. And it was horrible on a big vase. But being flowers, I was thinking marigold. Um, I was going to do the, the mixing clear, the watered down version of it just to see but i went with smoke and again i think it's wrong i like my carving I like the carving's beautiful again, and i do love stencils. and i do love the the difference in how highlighted the carving is but yeah wrong how color. good is that that's yeah without wiping yeah. up any underglaze so i'm really impressed with that yeah. part of it that's yes. good yeah i like that um okay so let's do this little, <laughs> little oh, owl okay. so that one What's that salad on? Sky. Mm, it's our, one of our favourites. And see how it doesn't sit darker in the texture of the sky because it's one of the lighter ones. I find the darker salad ons do it better. <laughs> you need to owl inside. <laughs> so Trace and I are wanting to do a little candle maker class if we can find somebody. And I, so I decided to make all these little holders to fill with the wax and the stick, not put a tea light in to actually fill and make candles out of. So that's why there's going to be a few of these little things come out for that up there. I just love sky. It's so pretty. And then another little one in lavender. So that's the full lavender um, without mixing clear. That's the full colour of it. And I just got my trimming tool when it was wet and just went up. Didn't go back down on that one. I just went up. That's a pretty colour. Mm. Again, I will want to make a candle out of it. So this one, more cuteness. <laughs> oh, I love that trace. So I'm, I'm doing my first market in three weeks. So I'm, I'm wanting to get some little kitty bowls. and. That's a cute shape. Yeah, I love that shape. I've just done another one out the back, actually, that shape. Um, and, and I did the little, just the dots on the rim. I, I love cute. that. That's very cute. Yeah, so I like that. Um, and then the same transfer, a bit of an overload. <laughs> <laughs> so 
that's more you than yeah. that's more me normally. <laughs> if I was this just... is, I think it's much more successful. And when I did this, I actually said, um, I won't do it again. It's um, not only is it too busy, it's too expensive. I used a half a sheet on just on this bowl, tiny little bowl, and that's weeping plum. Mm, oh, as you all know, I just love weeping plum. So that, they're still pretty. Um, oh, bunnies! Go bunnies! My favourite! <laughs> just make me smile. I can be having the worst day and look at bunnies and I just love them. And that's lavender mixing clear. That's beautiful. I was going to say, normally you do pink, but that's beautiful. Well, this was one of the orders. So I, uh, this is what the person wanted. So the full mm. lavender and the lavender mixing clear, which is interesting to see the difference. Mm. It's not a lot lighter. It was 50, 50. Oh, it is. It is. It is, yeah. But yes, That's how pretty beautiful. is that with the lavender? So yeah. there is uh, weeping plum. We'll be able to compare, not on this shelf. We, so normally I do weeping plum because the bunny's ears are pink mm. and I think it's cute. But I actually really like it with the lavender as I well. do too. So that's a different option for me to have. My bowl for my pussy cats. Oh, cute. <laughs> All this time I've wanted to make them bowls and never have. So they share a bowl. My pussy cats, they're brothers, Teddy and Bear. And they just eat out of the same bowl and it's about that size. So and we're ping plum. That's My cute. boys get a pink bowl. Bad luck. <laughs> <laughs> they just have to put up with a pink bowl. Yeah, I like that. I'm sure yeah. the food will taste the same. Oh, these two. Oh my goodness. So Anne Roll, yeah. And she showed she did this um this bubble technique. And I just love it. Looks like eyeballs a bit. Um mm. so I'm kind of tempted to refire it with sky or something over it to make it look like bubbles underwater. But what I did, you can look up, look under Anne Rule and have a look at um uh, just search bubble technique or something and what she did was she did this the standard one where you blow the bubbles in the bowl they come over and you place them but she also did this where she did the bubble mixture and then she got a little the little um squeezy like your slip applicator bottles without the stick just the open hole blobbed it in to get the soap and the underglaze over and then pushed it to get the bubble and placed it so every single one of those oh, bubbles <laughs> I hand placed. Wow. So that's why you get the darker in the middle because mm. that's the underglaze. When you push it out, the underglaze sort of kind of goes to the edge of the bubble. So when you put it on, I, you kind of get a bit of it off. But if you get too much of it off, when you try and put it on, the bubble just pops. So it takes a little bit of practice to get the technique right. Uh, but I love it. It looks great, it though. Yeah. Lucky. Yeah, I don't know, because it looks like eyeballs. Oh, it's got kiln wash on the bottom. But wait for this. This is my favourite Tracy in like this one. But, oh, I love, I love the multicolour bubbles. Yeah, no, I do. Yeah. I wasn't, yeah, I wasn't sure with having the trance. The transfers, the colours oh, are see, beautiful. But no, I do Shells now that it's underwater. done. Yeah. yeah. But what I love with this technique is on the sides, you can see here, when the bubbles pop, it splatters a bit of the colour. And I actually really like yeah, that. Um, I could have tried to clean it up, but I didn't want to. I liked it. Mm. So that's a me forever bowl because I love the colours, but also because it caught on the shelf i don't know why because i know i cleaned it up and only had clear on it but there's a few chunks out of the bottom but i love it anyway mm. i think it's beautiful so maybe that'll it's be a cute shape too maybe that'll be my cat's water bowl they can have two bowls oh that's that shelf done okay so now for the fun part for me anyway Yes, there's none of mine in there this time. Oh, yeah, this is a full. This is a full mud mud magic yeah. kiln on load. So I had a plate to put in for Trace, but she decided she wanted to put another colour on it, the <laughs> refire. So um, I didn't end up doing that one either. So a full me kiln, how exciting! So the two that I'm talking about, let's get them out first. So that's the same, the bunnies with mm, the weeping plum. That is plum. pretty. Bunnies with the lavender. Oh, I love it with the lavender though. That's just that yeah. point of difference. Me too, actually, because you've got pink on pink, which, mm. you know me, I love pink on pink. That's fine by me, but that's really yes. pretty. Yeah. And they paled down. I think if you, if it had been the full lavender, it, it still would have been fine. 
but that's just so, like, just so pretty. Mm. Yeah, so I'll be doing that again. I've just thrown some little ones for the markets. And what was the other one? Oh, this one. So that's that same with the, that's the refire. So the spectrum teal blue with the light flux on. So it's interesting that I would have again thought that was dark flux. And remember when we put light flux on obsidian up through that brown? Mm. So it must be when you put it on the darker colours, throws that brown. I don't know. I don't have to. Yeah, because yeah, you and me with browns mm. were a bit, it'll probably have to grow on me. And again, in the sun, I like the dribbles, of course. In the sun, maybe it'll be pretty, but it's interesting. So I'm glad I didn't do the light flux on this one. I think that would have been a bit weird with the texture as well. What else? Oh, skull mug. Remember the skull mug? So I decided after I finished the video and I said to Trace, oh, I can't believe again we had the, remember we had his jawbone sticking out. And Trace said to me, well, just bring down the ladybug further and cover it all together. So, oh, good idea. So I did. And so you've still got the skull inside, oh, yeah, which I kind of like. Because, like, yep. yeah, you drink your coffee or you give it to your grandma. <laughs> she drinks the coffee she and goes, then she's got... Oh, isn't this a lovely mug? Oh, <laughs> my grandmother would say, what's that, dear? I need my glasses. <laughs> um, but, yes, that's, yeah, that's cute. So I'm glad now. That's, um, it's a bit too low, but I had to, to cover the skull, tra the half skull transfer. Just ladybug. J uh, jungle gems, ladybug. So this one, oh, so Ooh. I'm not sure what to call this. I kind of call it a um, brandy balloon, whiskey, I don't know. But that's just um, power turquoise on black clay. No obsidian or anything, just power turquoise. So remember we did that one where it's I got, splattered it? Yeah. But this is full, oh, that's broken there. But the line that you get in it, the line the, you got the this flex. oh that well, line. no and it yeah. goes the whole way like you got a dribble on the top coat well i might have just done the first coat down because you know how much it moves and mm. the second coat not as far that might be why and then here i haven't managed to overlap it as much maybe because if i had brought it down to here it might have been okay looking at it, it hasn't moved too much mm. but i'm much happier with that with just two mm. coats because with three it just pinholes and looks horrible but it's crawled a big big patch Aww. there and remember when we did uh, power turquoise on sapphire float and it did that big crawl too so i actually don't mind it because it's kind of it's on the outside <laughs> too so i don't know so if i'll worry about refiring it because i kind of like it i love the black um, clay so this one i did for trace she doesn't know i'm doing well, not not the piece for her but do the glazing because she bought this glaze and has never used it. I think she's forgotten that we had it, <laughs> yep. which is the Norse blue with the celadon bloom over that oh, you got from pretty. Scented Ceramics. The blue, the um, the celadon bloom. So they're both Mako. How pretty mm, that's is that? Very pretty. Norse blue and celadon bloom. I love that. I love your carving on that. That's gorgeous. Yeah, I'm actually... Um, it's going to throw some beautiful quite, light patterns. Yeah, there's there's three, I think, in here. And I'm quite proud of all of them because I didn't go through the first ones where I didn't crack a little, you know, little tiny little bit here, didn't crack off or anything. That's gorgeous. So, but, yeah, I'm interested to see that. Trace did that one that we did a couple of kiln loads ago and it was beautiful. And she lit it and oh wow <laughs> oh, this is a surprise oh i said to her we'll have to have at markets we'll have to take photos of them lit with the colors that they throw because oh it was just went a whole nother level it was amazing how good it looked um so yeah i was very impressed i might as well get the, all of them out so that's um oh that's the no it's not that's sapphire float sapphire float because remember i gave julie that candle holder with sapphire float and i wanted to do it again so oh, i keep oh. kicking the light sorry um the runs i love how sapphire float it gives this real interest like here where mm. it runs off the texture and off the off the bobbles it's got a real it's, not a it's got a real denim look though I yeah, I don't remember it having such a denim look. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe. maybe it's blue rooftop. I'm sure it's sapphire float. Now you've got me confused. Um, there's so many. Nose blue, salad on blue. And then... 
handle holder. No, sapphire float. Mm. Yeah, I thought so. Sapphire float. Yeah. So, because that is, because Blue Rose Tile is a bit lighter, I think so it is denim y, but, but more denim. That's pretty. I like that. And then the last candle holder, this one, you'll never guess that colour, because that, which surprises me, is the new Midnight Run, the new Amico Flux, and it's grey. Yeah. I thought it was going to be a dark blue. And it's, I'm sure it's, it's a bluey grey colour. Mm, I, I like it. It's oh, an interesting like it colour. It's like real sort of stone sort of colour. Yeah. Which matches your carvings that you've got, like yeah. the pebble carving and that stone True. sort of colour. I like it. True. But, but yeah, no, not what I was expecting. No, and I've seen people play with it and it's been more, I'm sure it's been more darker blue. That's three but coats I, too. A lot of the examples, so, though, that I have seen have been on a brown clay, though. Ah, yes. So Whereas that's the white. white. Yes. So this one, oh, 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 you know what I did? Yes, I did. So this is the same Midnight Run. So, again, it's that same grey blue at the bottom here. And that was meant to be light flux. But you know what that is? That's the new Honeydew. So don't put honeydew on blue Ooh. midnight. Oh, yeah. Oh, that like was a... meant to go over winter wood because I was testing the whole everything <laughs> looks good on winter wood. That's just touched. Yeah, that's not nice. Oh, so I'll put that up on the Amico group of what not to, to do, do. <laughs> with the new flux. But that's funny because that was meant to have light flux on it. Now I still want to see it with light flux. And then the other one, and why you can see why I got confused because they're very similar. Oh, okay. Winter would like flux. I love it. That's yeah, just beautiful. That is beautiful. So I want to keep that now because I just love. Look at the little foot. I love it. And in fact, you know what would be good in that? Cotton buds. I've got mm. little in on my table because I use yes. them all the time. And I constantly say, "Where, Where are your cotton you? buds?" <laughs> and I say, "Oh, you know what? This was really funny." So I quickly say. So I said to her, "Oh, they're in the third drawer." So <laughs> she opened. Or did I say second drawer? In draw? my defense. No, second drawer. I said, they're in the second drawer. So she opened the third drawer. And I said, no, the other second drawer. And then <laughs> the towel was over the top drawer. I couldn't see the top drawer. So to me, the second drawer was... And that she, was visible was the second draw, and I still <laughs> this conversation went on, and now it's going on for days. It went on for about twenty minutes that she was convinced that she was right because she couldn't see the top draw, so therefore she no, was opening the second draw. I didn't say I was right, but that was my reasoning as to why I opened the third draw because to me it was the second draw that was visible, so I opened it not realizing that there was a drawer above. Yes. Anyway. In my defence. <laughs> very convoluted story that you can never hear. Now, the next one is unfortunately, again, very heavy, but my friend Mel, that you've heard me talk about, her partner Bruce is an insanely crazy mad Cronulla fan, Cronulla Sharks, which is a football team in Australia. He's mental about them. Anyway, so I did the Cronulla colours. So happy with the colours, but it's <gasps> really heavy. They are perfect. That's the Cronulla yeah. colours. It's a bit pregnant too. Um, so no, I've that's seen, the beer belly. Well, he wanted a beer stein, so I'll tell him that's the beer belly. Um, it's quite heavy, unfortunately, but it's really I'm really happy with the colours. They're perfect. It's not quite big enough for a beer stein either, um, but it's I love the colours. It's a light beer. Oh, don't tell him that. He'll never use it. Don't do light beer. <laughs> so that is that shelf done. So there's only one to go because we have those big vases on the top. Oh, oh my goodness, this one's a real cuteness overload shelf. Now yeah, you should see him here. Um, so I wanted to get them all in, so I put them all in the bottom. So they're all very similar. I'll get the one out that's not. So that's another oh, one I did to make into a candle. So I love, that's one of my favourite transfers. Yeah. I had it in black because I couldn't get the blue and I've now obviously been able to get the blue. So I just wanted to do it white. So I want to turn that into a candle as well and the shape and everything. They look really cute with a little wick sticking out of it and yeah. burning a candle in it. So that's cute. Put that up. So these are all very similar, so it won't take long. So you've got the lavender and the lavender. So that's interesting. So this lady's friend wanted one with the full lavender 
and hers is. So there you go. So I was saying it would look okay so we get to see. Oh, there's all, all this grog on the bottom. Much prefer the, the lighter yeah, mixing same. clear. But her friend wanted it. I sent her photos of both and she wanted the full lavender. So that's really great to see it mm. though. Definitely, definitely that one for me for the win. And then we've got another one. So the same. Oh, that's pretty with the lavender too. Yeah, but again, the lavender instead oh. of the weeping plum. So that's for twins, two little twin girls. So Gorgeous. One lavender, one weeping plum. So they knew whose was whose. So hopefully she'll be happy with those. And then we've got the owls for her grandson, the only one little boy, the sky. So I wasn't sure Cute. about what blue to do and maybe downpour or um whatever that other one that's the same color as downpour would have been better um but still it's fine for mm. a little boy i like that yeah i like it i love the owls the owls are cute i hand placed oh, every single one of those owls because i couldn't the sheep they're too close, close together yes. and they're all they're in a line upright like they're just in straight lines and it just would have looked weird so i didn't like it <laughs> so i did that and then last one Oh, so I said to her, she wanted the um, donuts and I said, I think because she, all of them are like this, they've all got the transfer inside and the colour out. And I said to her, I think we should do the colour all over because the transfers on these are black. They're just black donuts, whereas these ones have got mm -hmm. colour in them. Yes. So because she agreed with me, I decided to put donuts all over, <laughs> not just inside. So we went a bit donut crazy, but I love that. I love it's very cute yes yeah i could have put the put the strip of color and donuts but anyway i love that okay so that's it that was probably the quickest kiln unload that we've done because there were so many of these that were duplicated no none of tracy's but next time there will be she's brought up a whole heap for bisque so thank you once again for joining us stay muddy and have a magic day bye